All right, guys, we're gonna do. We're finally gonna do the moth joke. I, I counted. Thirty-one requests for me to do the moth joke. We're getting into dangerous territory again because the expectations are high. But I'm sure my boy Norm is going to meet those expectations. Eh? So pretty pumped. Sorry about that. Pretty pumped about that. So we're gonna check that out. Like, subscribe. Really appreciate you watching. All right, and two things before we watch it. I understand that I look like. If Jimmy Fallon and Tank from The Matrix had a baby, I know. Or the Hispanic Jimmy Fallon. I know. I don't need you to tell me. I also know, yes, I am walking, and it might be distracting. It's the point of this channel. Did you just see the projectile spit right there? My bad. That's the point of this channel. I work on this in the morning before my responsibilities come knocking on my door. So... With that being said, guys, I have loved going down this path, watching these Norm MacDonald jokes. My goodness. He is one of the best comedians I have ever encountered. This has been a real, real good time. So, without further ado, we're checking out the moth joke. And let's see what we've got, my man. Donald and... Now, not all your material comes uh, from, the, from the news, is that right? You know, no, you, some you, of my material comes, my strongest material comes from real life. Real life? Like, for instance, today I was driving in a, a car. Mm -hmm. You were kind enough to bring a car to bring this old chunk of coal here to the studio. <laughs> we, send, we send cars for our guests, yes. Yeah, so I got in it, and that's, I, you know, I get material that way. So my driver, What do you mean? What, what, how do you get material that way? You get in the car, and what happens? Uh, my driver tells me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> the driver we said to pick you up told you a joke. Yeah. And you're going to tell it now on the show. Yeah, that's how I get a lot of my material. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why don't we just have him on next time? Uh, that guy. You, yeah, that guy. Oh, wait till you hear me do it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, such a likable dude. Uh, uh -huh. I say, uh, I'll be the guy. Okay. Uh, a moth. <laughs> a moth goes into a podiatrist's office. A moth goes into a podiatrist's office. Right. You are correct. <laughs> <laughs> a moth goes into a podiatrist's office, mm -hmm. and uh, the podiatrist's office says, "What's the problem?" And the moth says, "What's the problem? Where do I begin, man?" He goes, I go to work for uh, Gregory Olinovich, and uh, all day long I work. He's just, he's already laughing. Honestly, Doc, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't even know if Gregory Olinovich knows. He only knows that he has power over me, and that seems to bring him happiness. But I don't know. I wake up in a malaise, and I, I walk here and there. And the podiatrist says, oh, yeah? And the moth goes, yes. And he goes, uh, at night I, I sometimes wake up and I turn to some old lady in my bed that's on my arm. A lady that I once loved, Doc. I, I don't know where to turn to. My youngest, Alexandria. Alex she, she fell in the, in, the, in the cold of last year. Mm -hmm. The cold took her down as it did many of us. <laughs> <laughs> and my other boy, <laughs> and this is the hardest pill to swallow, Doc. My other boy, Gregario <laughs> Vinolitovich. I no longer love him. As much as it pains me to say, when I look in his eyes, all I see is the same cowardice that I that I catch when I take a glimpse of my own face in the mirror. If only the cowardice was stronger, then perhaps... <laughs> perhaps I could bring myself to reach over to that cocked and loaded gun that lays on the bedside behind me. Jeez. And in this hellish facade once How long a drive all, was this? <laughs> do you live in the valley? Where do you live? <laughs> Please, sorry. He says, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just want to... This is great. Just right there already what he's doing. That's hilarious. Um, 
I think I think it added that Coden got annoyed because he just said what we were all thinking. Like, come on, that, this is brilliant. Okay. Sometimes I feel like a spider, even though I'm a moth, <laughs> just barely hanging on to my web with an everlasting fire underneath me. <laughs> the I'm not feeling good. And so the moth, the the doctor says, "Moth, man, you're troubled." But you should be seeing a psychiatrist. Why on earth did you come here? And then the ma said, because the light was on. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. My congratulations to anyone who stuck it through to the end. Yes. <laughs> So, it's still early, so like smiling hurts. So, Norm. What? <laughs> we're pretty much out of time. I... That was amazing. Well, okay. All right, y'all. Wow. The delivery is, I mean, expert. Like, that's. I was paying attention to the entire joke because the act, the just how dramatic he was making it made the joke hilarious, but we were all feeling like Conan O'Brien was, right? It's like, come on, which made it brilliant. And so I think that uh, excitement for the punchline made the punchline just like... Uh, yeah, that was some, so incredibly satisfying. Oh, that was good. All right. Okay. I see you guys. Thanks for the recommendation. Norm MacDonald, man. We need him to do another correspondence there or something, do we? don't we? Next video, I think I'm going to check out him just uh, pooping all over Hillary Clinton. Seems like a lot of people think when he talks about Hillary Clinton, it's funny. So we're going to check that out next. Any other recommendations, please send them my way. I love y'all. This has just been an incredible ride, man. It's been a real good time. We're going to try to do some more reactions here, especially with Christmas coming soon. Work is slowing down, so pretty pumping about, about that. But the only thing I'm going to leave you with is think twice before you call me the Mexican Jimmy Fallon. Because I'm freaking Chilean, okay? Much love, guys. <laughs>